I'm going to continue modeling this product line for Blender Challenge 10 Supermarket product. I've got a spray can, I've got this orange cream, and I've got this orange gel over here. And I'm going to create a pack of gum with the same sort of packaging idea. So I'm going to do the modeling in this video, and it's going to consist of making the blister packaging, the gum, the foil part that would go under the blister packaging, and then the box. And in the next video, we'll do the texturing. All right, so I'm going to start by creating a plane, going down an edge loop, control B. And this is the blister packaging where the gum is going to go. I'm going to put an edge loop down this way. I'm going to scale this in the Y a little bit. And these guys again. And sort of make a rectangular piece of gum. I'm going to take this face here and extrude it up. I'm going to press Control 2 and shade smooth. And let's put an edge loop here. Control B. Let's see how we like this. The gum would go under there. All right, so let's bring in now a cube. Scale it down a little bit. And make this into a piece of gum that would fit underneath here. And I might need to make this a bit taller, actually. Let's just hide this for the moment and make our piece of gum out of this. I'm gonna go Control-2 and an edge loop there and there. Shade smooth. And that actually could just serve as the piece of gum right there. So let's go Alt H. Bring that back. And let's look at making this a bit taller. I'm going to grab these faces and pull them up. And we're going to bring this up. I might consider one more edge loop there. We can start with that shape anyhow. Okay. Let's take both of these though and move them into a new collection. I call this just gum. So we can focus just on that stuff. Okay. Let's take that and put an array on this. And we'll have merge on. And let's put this above the subdivision. And go for maybe six of these or maybe five. Why might look fine? We'll do another array, uh, but this one we'll do in the Y. Go for two. We'll bring that up as well and merge. All right, so that's the blister pack right there. And for the gum, let's look from the very bottom. We could do that. We could always adjust that later if we wanted to. Okay, so it fits there. Maybe I'll scale this in the Y just a little bit. And in the X just a little bit. And there it is. Okay. So let's take this now and add an array. And I'm just going to pull it along until it fits. And try yeah, a little bit less. Let's equal each time it goes into its little space or relatively equal. I'm just hold it down shift and pull it. That's probably okay. And uh, I'll do another array, but we'll do this one this way. Okay. It's probably okay 
it just like that. Let's go into this collection here. And this is the gum. And that's the, the uh, blister. Now, I'm going to give this a little bit of thickness. Let's try, um, so let's try solidify. And I think I'll bring it to the very top. And let's just mess around with some of this. I don't want it very thick. Actually, let me, uh, I may want to have this we got here. I may want to have it at the very bottom. Come to think of it. Yeah, this one will take a little bit of adjusting. Um, because we're going to have some sort of transparency on this. I'll just leave it like that for now. Okay. And I think the way I'll do the bottom, is I'll just, I'll just bring in another plane just make it fit so grab those edges and pull them out and grab this and pull it out to here and give this a little bit of thick I don't know maybe I'll use solidify on this as well subdivision on this as well. Let's say if we had that, and then what I'll do, um, a couple of different ways to do the box part of this. Um, I'm just going to start with the simplest way, like this. Take this edge, just extend it a little bit past. And this edge, right, just like that. I'm going to extrude this up. Uh, let's get rid of these faces. Put an edge loop here, and we uh, actually we'll put one there and there on the top and on the bottom. And we'll split it like this, make a little uh, area to grab the gum. I'm going to focus just on this. faces here. I'm going to put a subdivision on this. And we'll do, uh, let's see, let me put edge loops on all of these and then select them all, all these edges, shift alt and click those edges and scale them the Y so they all come out evenly. 
just like that. Put one down near the end if it's necessary, I'm not sure. And we're going to use solidify on this as well, just at least to start off. I think I'll put it above. Pull it in. I think I'm going to uh, add the cavity shader so I can see a little bit better. I'm going to take it uh, below. I get a sense of it a little bit better. I think I'm going to go ahead and apply that. a little bit deeper here. take this box and pull it back so that you can see the gum through it and we will work on the thickness of all of these things in a bit as we get materials going Let's scale this in the Y just a little bit maybe more out underneath. Alright, that's the general idea right there. If I want this a bit taller, I might Okay, there's our model so far once we put on the transparency here and some you know materials general it'll look a lot better there's the gum now before we close off for this we should make sure nothing is flipped everything looks okay so very simple to make and hopefully it'll look okay with some textures on it and a little bit of touch up on the modeling cool see you next time